Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. Y'all, today I'm doing a What Spirit Has to Say, Want You to Know, for the weekend of the 14th, 15th, and 16th of this month, August 2021. Um, this cup I got from the person that prepares my taxes. Her name is Cece. Um, her business is called Smith Clark. You can ask for Cece. There's her phone number if you haven't done your taxes. Okay, this lady is awesome. I have used her for 10 years. She always gets me back the most money as possible. And she does all my deductions because I have a lot of taxes that I always pay back for YouTube, my 401k plan, my stocks that I buy, I owe taxes on them. So she does a great job. And the best thing about her is even if you live out of state, or far away she can do it online you can fax her or email her your information she does your taxes and emails it back to you so that is fantastic okay so give her a try if you haven't done your taxes and or maybe next year you want to try her okay i'm drinking out of her cup or should i say the cup she gave me <laughs> it's not her cup <laughs> And my snack for today, I want to show you, are pistachios. <laughs> this is a huge sack. These are the Walmart brand. I always buy Walmart brand. You know, I always try to buy the cheap stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm snacking on today. So let's get started with the video. Y'all, I work four days straight at the hospital. That's why you haven't seen me. I am exhausted. It was excruciating. Our hospital is filling back up with, you know, the big C people. And y'all, please wear your mask. This isn't over yet. It's, it's everywhere. You know, if you haven't got vaccinated, get vaccinated. I was afraid too. I didn't want to get this shot. I was afraid because, you know, it's new. I didn't know what, you know, it was going to do to me, but I got it and I'm fine. Okay. So if you haven't, please consider doing it. Protect yourselves because it's, it's not over yet. Y'all we're in this for the long haul. Okay. Let's get started with the video. Don't remember, don't forget that this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. Also, this channel is my brand. You do not have permission to copy any of it for any reason. Um, I am running a special today and tomorrow. $15 for four questions. You can email me. If you already know my number, text me. Don't send money until you absolutely have talked to me and already booked a time and date because then I won't know who the money is coming from. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start with Cancer. I'm going to do each individual sign. We're going to do Cancer. What Spirit has to say for your weekend of 13, four, I think I said 13, 14, and 15, right? Well, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What does Spirit have to say? Okay, let's go with Cancer. What does Spirit has to say for this coming weekend for Cancer? There's one. Show me the next card for, and there's two. Okay, Cancer, I am seeing that you have lately have had to pull out your strength. And Spirit is saying, use your strength. Use your strength because, yes, time has times have been hard. Here we see the maiden trying to shut the lion's mouth. You see how she's using her hands to shut the lion's mouth. The lion represents life roaring in, coming in at a great amount of speed trying to bite you um, sorry my cards are getting dirty again and um so you see the infinity above her head so that represents whatever you decisions you make are going to last for a lifetime so be careful what decisions you make the background is yellow so that represents a brand new day is coming things are about to improve here we have blue that's way in the background. So you were in your mind about stuff, but since the color is so far away, that represents that your thoughts are getting less and less and less about the bad stuff and the new stuff is coming in. Okay, so next we have the um, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. In the upright, it represents help coming in. 
uh, from a third party. These are pentacles floating around the picture, meaning that there is help on the way as far as financial situation. Sorry, I got to wipe my card. Financial situation or situations. Um, a third party, you see how this third party is giving the other people money, the beggars, and then his scales are balanced here. Um, meaning that, you know, everything is going to be balanced. But for you, it fell on the reverse. So I am seeing some troubles, you know, a few hardships with money. But if you, like I said, if you gather your strength, you can easily flip this card back around where you'll have that stuff coming. I am telling you now, on August 22nd, we're having the new moon that's going to bring in a lot of good luck for especially cancers, but for every sign too. Okay, that's the time where this card is going to flip back around and you're going to have other people's money working for you. It could be a bonus, someone giving you money or a gift or a winning or something like that. So don't forget on August 22nd, if you want to manifest things, write down your intentions then, make your wishes then on that moon. Also start new ventures on August 22nd because anything you touch then is going to turn to gold, okay? So don't forget, you will flip this card back around on August 22nd when things are going to start happening for you, Cancer, okay? Now, we're going to go with Pisces. What do you see for Pisces? There's a first one that fell out for this coming weekend. Okay, so this is short, y'all. Just short little ones. Remember, I decided to do it this way for a while since I am extremely busy and work all the time. So we do have the um, Seven of Wands here. This represents someone that's jabbing up at you. Uh, some kind of strife, Pis Pisces. This week, this coming weekend, it looks like someone is gossiping. When this card comes up, it means a lot of gossip at work. Okay, and people are, there's more than one person. There's maybe a group of people, maybe people at work or, or your school or somewhere is gossiping. But maybe it's a family member around the neighborhood or something like that. But someone's gossiping about you. You're feeling pretty upset about it and you're trying to defend yourself. I see some of you being called into the office or you know, into the manager's office or something like that because word has gone around that you're doing this, that, and the other way and you haven't. It's not true. So you're defending yourself. This card means a lot of defense and you are in deep thought about it. You're really, really thinking about this because it's really bothering you. Okay. So, um, but you have the advantage because see, you're on the hill here. These people are way down below. So that means you have the advantage to win to when you jab back defend yourself you're going to win so don't fret about that because that energy will pass here we have the fool some of you are going out on um journeys this weekend maybe traveling or whatever don't be like this fool and fall off the cliff see you see he's about to fall off this cliff because he's looking up he's not looking down forgive my nails y'all they are a mess right now because i work four days straight and I have not had time to fix them. <laughs> so anyway, we won't pay attention to this one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's about to fall off the cliff because he's just not paying. He's happy, you know, packed his bags. He's happy going off on this trip. But he's about to fall off this cliff. So what Spirit is trying to tell you is pay attention to detail this weekend. Don't just go wandering off not knowing what you're doing, who you're going to come in contact with, or pr just prepare. Okay, prepare for whatever your trip you're going on or whatever venture you're starting on because you will be like this fool and fall off the cliff. Check things out first, okay? This trip is supposed to bring you good news or something great, whatever venture you're starting. It doesn't necessarily have to be a trip, but maybe it's a venture. It's supposed to bring you good news or whatever because that's what the color yellow represents. But again, check everything out first so you won't fall off this cliff. All right, Pisces? Y'all ignore my nail polish. It looks horrible right now. Now, the next, and I know I always say that because it always does. <laughs> it's because I work at the hospital, y'all. I wash my hands a thousand times a day, and then I rarely have time to get my nails done. Okay, so next is Scorpio. Spirit, what do you see for Scorpio for this coming weekend? This card wants to come out. What do you see for Scorpio for this coming weekend? Show me. There's one that just fell out. 
Okay, so show me, um, actually I'm going to pull this one. This one fell out as well. Show me, I'm sorry, this is for Scorpio for this coming weekend of August 2021. I'm seeing this is a marriage card. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You might be, some of you marrying an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You see the couple just got married and they're celebrating. There's a celebration in the background here is the little stand where they got married and it's very fruitful. So this card represents that this marriage is going to be very fruitful, very happy, and you, this is going to start off as a new venture for Scorpio, a nice home, you know, happy family, this is also a baby card, you could have a baby from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or whoever it is you're marrying, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that sign, okay, so I am seeing that coming in for some of you, for the next one, this is the Ten of Wands in the reverse, and the upright represents very heavy load. You're carrying too much on your shoulders. You see how he's humped over. The wands are almost too heavy for him to carry. So all these wands represent uh, your life, your love, marriage, friendships, work, stuff like that. So, But I'm seeing that you're carrying everyone's loads as well. Maybe your job is um, putting too much on you. Uh, giving you work assignments that aren't in your job description and you're doing them and not getting paid or the same with school or family members are expecting you to pay their bills friends are asking you for money or whatever and you're doing it you got to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else so you have to lay some of those wands down so you can be um in a better position but it fell in the reverse so that means you are already there you've come to the realization that it's time to lay some of those wands down you're going to be in a much better position you're going to be taking care of yourself and you're going to free yourself from some of these burdens that people are putting on you okay again free yourself okay so now this is the um nine of swords this is much much depression the person is holding their face in their hands, crying. Um, the background is black, which represents sadness and depression. There's a, there's a swords here, which represents Gemini, even Aquarius. You might know be crying over somebody of that sign, or know someone of that sign that's in jail, or maybe you've created a self imprisonment in your mind because of someone. But it's in the reverse, so that means again you're coming out of it. The depression has lifted. Maybe someone came out of jail. Maybe you came out of jail. Maybe you came out of rehab. Your health is getting better. Your job called you back to work. Whatever. But everything looks like it's great. This is in the reverse, which is a better in the reverse. This is better in the reverse. You're letting go of the wants, and some of you are getting married. So this is actually a great read for Scorpio. Okay. Next, we're going to do uh, Aries, which is a fire sign. Show me what you see for Aries for this weekend of August 2021. What do you see for Aries? Okay, there's there's a couple that fell out. Three of them. Actually, it's a whole bunch of them. But I'm only going to read. Okay, we are going to read some of these here. So for the first one I'm seeing is the Three of Wands. Of Swords, I'm sorry. This represents heartache, heartbreak when it's in the upright. So it looks like someone broke your heart. Maybe a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or any sign for that matter, broke your heart by a third party with a third party. Let me get a drink here, y'all. Oh, that sugar-free lemonade is so good. Um, and you found out about it, but it fell for you in the reverse. That means this person is coming back. They're going to tell you they are sorry. They're coming back with an apology, telling you they want you back, or at least want to talk to you, or hear them out. But no, this is not sincere because it is a sword. Swords are not sincere. Swords are not real. Swords are not truthful. So this person is going to be coming back with a fake apology saying, I am sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. I want to come back to you or whatever. Do not fall for that trick. It's just a trick. This person is only coming back to see what they can get out of you. Because of that, some of you walked away. Here is the... Uh, seven, eight of cups. This person 
is laid all their cups down all these cups want, once meant something to them family home life friends or whatever cups are love and emotion they laid them stacked them up here and walked up the hill walked away so you did that because of this person here okay and red means very passionate so after this happened to you here you are very passionate about starting over leaving the past behind which is what you need to do do not accept this person here okay leave the past behind is what spirit is saying and keep moving forward finding a brand new day i see you are in deep thought about this okay very deep thought and you will get there because here we have the victory you are coming in from a place where you have been and you're riding home in victory some of you have went on trips you're riding home in victory here is the infinity sign meaning whatever decision you make is going to last a lifetime people are receiving you here a well receiving so keep moving forward i am seeing victory aries when you move forward away from this person here in the swords okay i am seeing the um impressed here this is a baby card this card is fertility and abundance some of you are going to be um pregnant or announcing that you're pregnant sorry y'all you see me wiping my card just because i see something on them okay and now that doesn't look professional but i'm gonna do as i do so this is the abundance card this is the fertility card so some of you are going to announce that you're going to be having a baby this is bringing a, this baby will bring brand new life a brand new day a brand new era a brand new way of living for you because there's a yellow in the background that's what that represents the wheat is growing here meaning growth okay and also if you're a farmer growth for the farmer you're gonna have good crops the water is flowing towards the maiden meaning life flow it's a good good card to have i'm reading all of them that fell out y'all this is the um five six of swords again this means moving away getting away in prison because you feel in prison there's a sword around the person this person is trying to get away from this situation this water is very turbulent here trying to get to the other side where the water is smooth i see that you have done that that you're getting there okay that's what that represents again some of you are going to get a small bonus this is the page of pentacles represents a small bonus hope in money and um hope and money or something that's coming in uh this is a messenger he's a messenger of money meaning there is hope in that money coming in that you're waiting on aries okay that was a lot for aries <laughs> okay we're moving on to leo is next Let me pick up my cards here what do you see for leo for this weekend august 2021 leo with the zodiac sign of leo there's two that fell out oh my 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 okay so we are seeing the five of cups this represents um this is oh my goodness okay this is someone that's crying over something they lost some of you could have lost a person because the death card is right next to it okay some of you could have lost a person and you're crying about it okay um but it, both of these cards are in the reverse so that means that you're you're either getting past it or you're not getting past it okay because it fell next to the death card if it was by your by itself could mean that you're getting past it the two behind it means that you still have life left okay you're not going to die along with this situation because you still have two cups left that you can live for okay but it's in the reverse and so is the death card in the reverse meaning that you are in stagnation okay maybe someone passed away and you can't get over it you can't get past it or you lost something it doesn't necessarily have to mean a death of a person but you lost something maybe during this phase that we're going in with the big c you have lost your jobs or whatever and you can't seem to move forward you're in stagnation that's what this represents in the reverse death and reverse is stagnation and the same here okay because they're together so what spirit is trying to say is get out of that stagnation so you can move forward okay when you turn this one around and you're in stagnation it means transformation you're moving away from the bad stuff leaving the water's flowing towards yes it can mean death but it can also mean transformation and in this case it means you got to get out of stagnation into transformation and move forward okay leo you are stuck move forward from whatever situation has got you down move forward so then you can come in that is your message directly from spirit okay that's what they want to say 
All right, so the next one is Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius for this weekend. There's a first one, there's a second one, and there's a third one. Okay, that was quick. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so now we have the two. I don't know how my cards are getting so dirty. Okay, here we have the two of... Um, you know what that is? That's eyeliner. It's makeup. Because I did my makeup here, and I probably have little shavings all over, and my cards were here. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So, anyway... Um, we um, have the two of wands here. I'm seeing that some of you are waiting, waiting for your ships to sell in, waiting for a second party to come help you. You have put in a lot of work. This one wand represents the work because it's behind you. So it represents the work that you've already put in, in your life, your jobs or whatever, your relationships, whatever. And then you're holding one that you're still working on, but you got the world in your hand, meaning that you have every opportunity to move forward and do great, but you're waiting on help. Okay, so the, you, I'm seeing some of you waiting on help. I am seeing the Knight of Swords here, which represents a message, urgent, urgent message coming in that you, and this is, goes along with this one. See, you're waiting. Okay, you're waiting on to hear about something, but there's a delay because it's in the reverse. So that's why you're still in stagnation. You're still waiting because this message, this help, or whatever it is has not come in when it's in the upright there's a fast fast movement you see how fast that horse is flying through the air he's got his arm up saying here i come there's birds here birds represent messages but it's in the reverse so the message has been delayed for some reason but never fret because it is it will flip back around especially on august 22nd here we have the page of cups this is a person that's a little bit younger than you that wants to help you out or maybe offer you some type of proposal could be marriage could be work could be anything but it does involve an uh, honest decision be or an on honest request or proposal because the cup has a fish if you notice there's a little fish in there that represents christianity so this man is a good man he's not a bad person could be a woman depending on who who you are man or woman um this person is a good person. They wear uh, their heart on their sleeve. You see red, very passionate, and they're really thinking about you. They're thinking about helping you, offering you stuff, and here is the blue, which means that, okay? If you notice water, and the background is very uh, wavy, meaning that there has been turbulent times, but amidst all that, this man stands firm on the ground. He is able to overcome any of this stuff and move forward okay so be watching out this is a pisces cancer or scorpio okay that was for sagittarius next we're gonna do leo i'm sorry next we're gonna do taurus zodiac sign of taurus for this weekend i'm not gonna take that one let me scoot my camera back just a little bit y'all show me um i really gotta get a different setup here Show me Taurus for this weekend, August 2021. For this coming weekend, show me Taurus. What do you see for Taurus for this coming weekend? Oh, my. Here we go. Okay, so you see how those slid out all together? <laughs> all right. Ooh, this is going to be a reading here. Okay. So we have the tower. Okay, and then we have... God, I cannot believe how dirty these cards are. All oh, this is makeup, y'all. Um, this is eyeliner. I don't know how that got on my cards. Um, we have the tower, the ace of swords, and then the judgment card. Okay, there's very big messages here from spirit. Okay, these come are, come, are coming directly from spirit, y'all. So, the first one is the tower. That means an unexpected event is happening or has happened or is about to happen this weekend. Be very careful Taurus there's an unexpected event that's about to happen now I'm not trying to scare you hold on I'm not trying to scare you but be very careful because there is something about to happen that you did not expect and you know weren't expecting be careful when you travel okay so this is the um victory sword the ace of swords it means a victory sword but it can go either way because it's a double-edged sword you see there's a two two sides here and this is the crown of victory but again since it's double edge it could go flip this way real easily and i think it might because you have the tower right next to it okay now here we have the judgment 
meaning an awakening. So literally, the Spirit is here saying that you need to pay attention to coming events. This is the awakening card, the great aha card is what they call it, because you're going to realize something you didn't realize before. This is major, very, very major, okay? You don't get these cards together unless it's very, very major. So this is a um, message directly from Spirit. So, um, yeah, so uh, seeing directly from spirit, he's saying pay attention to coming events because something is about to happen that's life altering, life changing. If, if you're a Taurus and you want a personal reading, contact me because I feel like you need one so you can find, find out more about what's happening here, okay? But there is something coming at you that's going to be unexpected. Again, be careful, okay? Next is Virgo. Virgo for this weekend, what do you see for this weekend, August 2021, this coming weekend for the zodiac sign of Virgo? What do you see for Virgo? Show me the first card for Virgo. There's two that fell out. All right, so Virgo, I'm seeing a marriage here. Again, I'm seeing a marriage. Some of you could be getting married. Um, this is the three of pentacles. This represents three, okay? And this is pentacles. That means money also. It could be a contract that you get about to sign papers on a contract that involves money. Someone could be offering you money, a third party, or you could be getting married to a Taurus, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm, this is also a baby card. Uh, someone's going to be announcing that they're having a baby or want to have a baby from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, so be careful if you don't want to get anybody pregnant. I am seeing some of you that are going to be disappointed about a celebration you were supposed to have because here's the three maidens dancing around, celebrating, holding their cups up, but it's in the reverse, so that melts, that celebration isn't happening. There's a delay for some reason, Virgo, so um, I'm not sure what that is unless I do a huge reading on you, but I do see it involves three people here. Or maybe your marriage is going to be delayed because these two are together. Okay, so for some of you, there could be a delay in your marriage or in your celebration. Whatever it is that you are about to celebrate could be a party or a graduation or friendship, whatever. There's a delay in it this coming weekend. Okay, so be watching out for that. All right, next is Capricorn. Zodiac sign of Capricorn. I don't people say I don't say it say it right. Is it Capricorn? I always say Capricorn. So <laughs> yeah, I'm ghetto. <laughs> so what do you see for the zodiac sign of Capricorn for this weekend, August 2021? Zodiac sign of Capricorn. Capricorn for August 2021. Ah, oh, there's another marriage card. Okay, one more card for Capricorn. I usually try to pull two. There's one that flipped out of my hand. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we have the first one is the marriage card, the four of wands. Like I said before, uh, someone is about to get married, Capricorn. You're thinking about getting married, could be to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you could be getting married also because you might be pregnant. Okay, here is the sun. This represents a brand new life coming in because you see... The rider on the horse is a child. This horses mean movement coming in. The child holds the life banner. So a new life is being born, being created here. The sun is shining bright. There's beautiful flowers in the background. So, yeah. So, um, hold on. Yeah. I don't want my battery to die. Uh, let me get my plug. I'm going to put you on hold. Okay. Sorry, I had to plug in my phone, so it was going dead. So anyway, the sun represents brand new life coming in. So I am seeing a marriage. Both of these are baby cards. This is a baby card and this is baby card. So I am seeing that um, um, there's a baby coming in, okay, and then a marriage. So actually, this is a great reading for you, Capricorn. Um, uh, new things are coming in for you, okay? So that was short and sweet. The next one is Gemini for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Y'all, when I get done here, I'm taking all this nail polish off and I'm going to re redo my nails because they look horrible. Okay, so Gemini, what do you see for Gemini for this weekend? Show me Gemini. There's one. Show me Gemini for this weekend. I'm going to pull my back just a little bit. 
Okay. Show me Gemini for this weekend, August 2021. My cards don't want to behave. Show me Gemini for this weekend. There's two. Okay, we're probably not going to go with these because um, they fell to the side. So, I am seeing a terrible injustice that was done or being done or hasn't happened yet. Gemini, this is something that obviously has you upset because um, the justice is in the reverse. When it's in the upright, it means justice for all, that there will be justice. But since it's in the reverse, it represents there is no justice. So, I do see that you're mad about something that... Um, happened and um, you haven't got the answer yet or you haven't got what you're waiting to happen with the situation could have been a fight some maybe your friend got murdered or I mean it could have been anything a uh, big disappointment or um, breakup or whatever but the, it fell in the reverse so that means there is no justice okay so what are you going to do about that well the high priestess is here which represents your own intuition this represents that you already know what to do, you know what to do, and you know what's coming. You know what's in your mind, and you know what's coming. So um, think about that. Put that into play in your mind so you can figure out where to move next on this situation. I do see justice flipping back around, and things will come out normal by the end of the month whatever situation you're in and you know this this is why you're in your mind about it here this is what high priestess represents that you know the answer to your own question you see there's blue everywhere here she is knows what's coming ahead what's you know follow your own intuition that's what that represents this is short and sweet y'all the other ones that fell out were the king in the reverse money i am seeing a little bit of money um, that's owed to you somewhere that you need to look for and then the player card but it fell in the reverse I'm seeing that there was a player or is a player um, that's probably going to be was thinking about coming at you but now is probably leaving or maybe saw that you're not interested and they're leaving leaving back out again or if you are going on a short trip maybe that trip is not going to take place because this also can represent short trips but if it's in the reverse don't take a short trip this weekend because in the upright see there's salamanders here this represents protection for someone that goes on a short trip but if it's in the reverse that means there ain't going to be no protection the, sh the trip might be something bad that might happen okay so if you're planning on a short trip i most likely would hesitate and wait a little bit okay gemini the next one is libra what do you see for libra coming in for this weekend 2021 show me libra for this weekend 2021 okay libra i am seeing uh you're waiting on money slow this is slow moving money that hasn't come in again um i'm really sick about my cards being messed up um you've been waiting on money money that you've worked hard for for yourself because seeing the upright this represents uh, someone that stands alone with their the hand on the cash and they've built this money on by themselves okay very very rich person or someone that's well off and you've been working at that goal but it's in the reverse so that represents that this money has been put off for some reason okay so now i see the lover's card in the reverse as well meaning you were involved with the person or were going to be involved with the person but now it fell in the reverse this is new love brand new love but this person only has sex on the brain this is adam and eve and you know what do they do they had sex okay so this represents this person has sex on the brain first before a relationship. So be careful with this person in this card. But it's in the reverse, so it means that maybe you might have found out that that's all they're after, or maybe they changed their minds. Here is another person offering you love, which is uh, a page of cups. This is a different person, a nice person, person that believes in God, but stands firm on their feet, representing you know that they're very strong amidst any turbulation there's turbulation back here in their life but they're able to stand strong fish is christianity that's what that means they're offering you a cup of love this is a pisces cancer scorpio that might be a little bit younger than you but they are 
firmly standing on the ground offering you something great. If you're, again, if you're waiting on a message, this is an urgent message card. This is the Knight of Swords. Very, very diligent person coming in, giving you a message, but the message is delayed. It's in the reverse. There's a lot of delays for some reason. Well, the reason is because the moon that we just had gave us this type of energy. But on August 22nd, all that is fixing to flip around with a new moon. Anything you want to happen, do it on August 22nd. You know, I'm telling you, this is going to bring in great, great vibrations where you can make anything possible, anything happen. So I do see a delay for you, Libra, but it will turn back around on August 22nd, okay? Whatever it is you're waiting on, there might be a slow, uh, slow delay. Last but not least is Aquarius for this weekend. What do you see for this weekend? Aquarius, there's again the same thing. For Aquarius, you you and all you Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra are air signs. So you're going to have the same energy, okay? People say, why do the same cards fall out? Well, because I'm reading, you know, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are all air signs. They all have the same, possess the same energy. All right. There's two more. Okay, so we are seeing, again, the same thing I just explained about money that didn't come in. A delay in money come in. Yes, it will flip back around. These are court cards. Court cards always flip back around. Okay, that means the energy flips back when it's time. So I do see slow moving money being delayed that you work hard for and that will flip back around. I am seeing that you are very impatient. This is temperance. Temperance represents patience, life flow, balance, trying to balance out. You see how this person has one foot in the water, one on land, representing balance. You need to go down this road and find the brand new day. The brand new day is far, far away. Yellow represents brand new. Okay, but it's very far away because you haven't found that balance yet. You're trying to create it, but you're in the reverse, so that means you haven't got there yet. Now the water is so prominent. It's all wavy, and it's about to flow on you, so or get on you, so all that turbulence is coming at you because of the situation here, perhaps. So you need to um, slow things down, slow things down so you can ride home in victory, which I do see you happening, or it happening, when... Uh, these other two cards flip back around you will ride in victory and um, you will be received well either at a job or a school or whatever especially when this money you're waiting on comes in here is the infinity sign the sign of victory and a very passionate horses mean movement so by the end of the month Aquarius, you will be moving forward with money you're waiting on, a job you're waiting on, a proposal, or whatever it is you're waiting on. You will get there. Find patience. Find balance is what the universe is saying because right now you don't have it. You're being very, very impatient. Spirit is saying find that balance so you can get there. All right, y'all. I've done enough talking. I'm going to go get my nails fixed. Y'all have a nice day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Please view my videos. If you haven't, go back and view them. When you don't view them, my revenue goes down, and then it just doesn't work good for me. But So please view them. If you'd like to leave a tip, a donation, or whatever, my cash shops are there. I am doing the $15 special. Email me, and I'll get back at you. If you have my number, text me. Let me know you want the special. And other than that, I will see you next time. Y'all have a nice day. Bye-bye.